and I, I lose my job because I say shit on the job that I was supposed to be saying, then the next thing you know, I'm a human resource. Like I used to be a <laughs> chef, and I was cooking for these little kids. I cooked for 30 kids and four staffs. So I get off at 3 o'clock, so it's 2.30, I gotta feed these kids. So one little kid got out ready. She said, you know what? I don't want to eat now. I'm going to go take a bath. Staff was like, look, Mr. Kevin ain't going to feed y'all until y'all sit down. Right, Mr. Kevin? And I'm looking like, no, Mr. Kevin got to go to fuck home. And I was standing here with these damn kids. So the little girl jumped up and down. She said, I'm going to take all my clothes off if y'all don't let me go take my bath. So I'm like, so everybody just was quiet. I said, listen here. I said, this is what we going to do. I said, let me feed everybody. I said, y'all go take her, you know, one of the staff, go take her, take a shower. I'm going to feed the kids. I'm going to make her plate. And when she finished, one of the staffs come in the kitchen and warm the food up for her. Everybody was dead quiet, just like this audience. <laughs> the little girl jumped up and said, you know what? Mr. Kevin makes sense. She, he, said, he said, Mr. Kevin's smarter than all of y'all. And he ain't shit but a cook. I said, sit your little dirty ass down. I'm a fucking chef, damn it. <laughs> Disrespecting my damn craft. And they pulled me out. I never knew I cuss out a little girl like that. <laughs> <laughs> but me, let me tell you a little something about myself, you know. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have fans. I, I'm, not, I'm not that famous yet. Uh, how many of y'all remember that HBO special, The Wire? Remember that? Anybody remember The Wire? The HBO? With the, um, it was, I think it's based in Baltimore. You know I mean? yeah. yeah, well, I was on that. Though. Since y'all ain't see it, yeah, I was in the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was in there. I was in it for like five years. So, now me doing comedy, I don't have no fans. I don't have no, I got stalkers now. Like, this person used to come to every show I do. Next thing you know, they on, they facing me, telling me, oh, that, um, what you mean by that joke? And, and this and that, but the joke was about them. But now they coming back on my page telling me that I stole the joke. You know, I'm like, it's my joke, it's my life. That's all I talk about is my life, you know. Like, I'm up here, I was married for 19 years. 19 years. And them 19 years feel like a prison term. You know, my wife was the ward. And it, it's just, oh man, it, it's lovely, it's love and hate. Y y anybody been in a relationship? Remember that first time falling in love? And you meet that girl that you're like, you know what? I want to spend the rest of my life with her. You know, your first time spending the night together, you wake up in the morning, and the sun coming through the window, shining on your face, and you looking into her brown eyes, and she looking into your brown eyes, and you be like, this is the one. And she say that one dumb ass question, and you be like, you know what, forget it. She said, um, why don't you be a father to just one of my kids? Like you got eight of them running around here. What the hell? How many times you use that damn line? Eight times? I'm like, damn. Then she get into telling me about Killer and, and uh, Raheem dad ain't shit, but I'd be a good father to him. Like, no, I'm gonna step dad. And you know what the best thing about being a step dad? Them kids get on your nerves, you just step the hell off on them. You know, I got one of those. I had one little step kid, he was so damn bad. It didn't make no sense. Like I took I took three of my sons out and I had got them the new joint. So when I got paid, you know, I ain't have enough money to get the third one the joint. So I got him the jumps. He gonna get mad at me to you know what? I don't like this. I said, what's wrong? I don't want these. I said, why they brand new? Look, put them on. He said, they ain't the real joints. I said, shit, I'm not your real dad, you know? I'm real bad to get you them damn joys. I did my job. Shit. Anything, I should better find your mom some joy. That's when I'm, I mean, was dating. But uh, me, you know, I, but when I, I go back to marriage, you know, marriage is like that. You remember that SAT test in college? And, it, and you guess, you guess the first ones and the hard ones. You, you answer the easy ones, and you had to guess from the hard ones. Same thing with that marriage. My wife asked me a question. She said, you know what? I'm going to ask you something. I said, what is it? She said, what do you like about me? What do you love about me? What do I said, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, let me answer one question at a time. I said, OK. She said, all right, tell me. I said, well, I like the way you comb your hair. 
And I like those stylish clothes you wear. <laughs> it's just the little things you do. She said, can I shut the hell up? That's a goddamn song. <laughs> she got her. She passed them to I'm like, this. I'm like, oh shit, I ain't know what to do. But man, I, I, I love marriage, man. You know, I, I got married because I was tired of dating. I got I was before I got married, I was in 14 relationships in six months. 14 later, yeah. I mean, I love fast, but I get away quick. You ain't catch me with the okie dokie. Yeah. <laughs> okie dokie. Let's just say okie dokie up here. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about your age and shit. <laughs> okie dokie. You know what? And you know you get old when your mind don't have no recollection of what your body gonna do. I was in Walmart yesterday. You know, I was in line, I was ready to check out. And I, I had to sneeze, but I tried to hold it. But when I sneeze, I sneeze so hard that I shit myself. <laughs> Ladies, like, what was that? Mind your business, lady. You know, you know, make me think. Now I'm walking around Walmart looking for adult pampers and shower baths. Because I felt, I felt to tell you, I felt in the shower the other day, too. But I, I don't want to get old, man, but I got to. You know, that's why. I, I'm gonna do shit, you know. I got fired from my job, but I hope this comedy shit worked out for me, man. Because, you know, I, I'm tired of pushing that coat, man. Yeah, man. What's with this guy? I'm talking about coat twice. Sometimes serving the same customer twice a day. I'm talking about coat on the freeze, coat down by the grill, coat by the aisles, you know. And then I was on the internet and I heard that Pepsi was paying five dollars more than Coca-Cola. I said, man, I'm gonna apply for them. Wait, hold on. Y'all thought I was talking about cocaine? You know, in Target, they got the owls, they got the, the owls, they got the cold, the cold ones when you check out. I, I'm not trying to go back to Penn State, y'all. Just, you know, just to stay together and, and thanks for supporting live stand-up comedy and, you know, just keep coming and doing your craft, you know. And, and for all the talent that came up here tonight, I just want y'all to tell y'all that never accept a no from a person that can't give you a yes in the first place. Yo, go for y'all dreams, baby. I'm Kevin Lightman. Thanks for having me. Woo!